Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. Hey, this is an update on the Emco Turn 120. Um, I've refit it with uh, DMM Technologies, uh, DIN 2 servo drives, and NEMA 34 AC servo motors. Um, one of the features on the DIN 2 drives is there's a output called Z ZRI, ZRI, or Zero Reference Input. Um, basically it's a marker pulse, one pulse per revolution of the motor just like you'd see in servo motors. And what I thought to do with this input is uh, uh, make for precise homing of the machine. So what, the, uh, what I did is I tied those uh, marker pulse outputs of the DIN2 drives to uh, inputs 3 and 4 on ACORN. Um, input 1 is the Z. Uh, limit switch. Input 2 is the X limit switch. Input 3 is the Z marker pulse and input 4 is the X marker pulse. Now I didn't have to do anything in the wizard. Um, the reason being is uh, in the CNC T home file, that's the file that uh, CNC 12 uses to home the machine, um, I added a couple of lines. I worked with Scott over at Centroid to come up with this. Uh, for really precise homing of, the, of any machine really. Um, you can use a, a, an inexpensive uh, mechanical limit switch and then using a drive that has this feature uh, in the case of the DIN 2s is a zero reference input. Use that marker to home your machine. What happens is the machine will go to hit the mechanical limit switch and then the next line in the home file says look for this input. Now it will start moving the machine and turning the motor very slowly until it sees that input. Once it sees that input then it stops and it goes ahead and uh, uh, sets machine uh, home position. That marker pulse is extremely difficult to see in the diagnostics window, um, which is basically this window that you see right here. You bring that up by hitting Alt-I. Um, because it's such a quick pulse, visually for, it, for you to see that LED, it's very difficult. Um, I've got the machine moving extremely slowly. Once it hits the limit switch, it'll extremely slowly turn that motor until it finds that marker pulse. And you'll see a blip on the uh, diagnostic screen. Now, I don't have to, I can, I, it's working at uh, three inches a minute. So at three inches a minute, you can't see the LED blip on and off. But I've got it at uh, one-tenth of an inch a minute, I, I guess you would say. S very slowly turning that motor so we can catch that blip. So what I want to do is I wanted to show you uh, that process here on uh, the diagnostic screen. Um, it'll be very slow. Um, you may hear, I'm going to move up to the uh, machine while it's turning um, so you can hear the limit switch click and then you'll watch the display. You'll see the DRO is counting or changing as it's hunting for that uh, zero reference marker on both axes and then uh, it will home. So let me get you up closer to the machine and uh, let me show you it working. And then I will show you the code on, uh, on the computer here. Okay, here are the inputs. This is uh, input one, that's Z, that's the mechanical switch. Input two is X, that's the mechanical switch. Input three is the Z marker, and input four is X marker. And what will happen is you'll see these go off, and then the DROs will count, and then you'll see this blip. When, it, when that input comes in. So that's what you're looking for, okay? All right, let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go to Alt-D and I'm going to go ahead and reset home. So uh, here we go. Okay, it's hunting. still looking for it. There it is. Now Z's moving. You gotta really pay attention to it right here. There it is. Okay, uh, I'm gonna repeat this again. 
we've got this way you can watch the DROs again X moves back I've got a rear mounted tool post so it moves back the X moves up to the X plus position and then Z does the same thing after X is completed so it's going to hit the mechanical switch on X and then it's going to halt hunt for the marker pulse and you watch the DROs all right here we go again okay it already hit the mechanical switch actually here's a telltale sign uh, it's it's looking for that marker pulse when it hits zero it should find it keep an eye here for on the input number four that X motor is turning very slowly at 0.1 inch a minute watch number four it'll come up really fast there it is Okay, input three will be next. Get ready. There it is. Worked perfectly. Uh, my thanks to Scott at Centroid for working with me on this. Um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and look at the uh, file now. Here's the file here, it says CNCT and then it says HOM file this is the file so I'm gonna double click on it alright so let's let's walk through it this first one here is M92 this uh, moves to the X plus home switch and then back off till it clears so that's the first move it hits the uh, M92 is a plus move and it moves um, in the positive direction until it hits the switch and then the next thing this M105 this is the uh, this is the move that uh, makes it look for uh, an input so this right here 4 is input 4 so it's P-4 it's defined this is the input it's looking for and it's uh, at a feed rate of one tenth of an inch uh, per minute so it moves X plus at well I it, I change it. it says three inches but it's I changed it to be very slow so that you guys could see it so it would be move X plus at 0.1 inches per minute until input 3 closes and when it does then M26 sets X home here then the next move is M92 Z move in the Z plus direction to the, towards the switch back off until it clears and then the next line is M105 Z P dash 3 that's the input 3 at a feed rate of 1 tenth inch a minute move Z minus at again 1 tenth inch a minute until input 4 closes and then it sets Z home here this was the original file right here where it just does what it traditionally does is it it goes looking for the limit switch when it finds it it trips it and it backs off and it sets zero m26 and then m92 z same thing till it hits the limit switch and then it backs off and sets uh machine zero at z all right so uh, let me demonstrate that it works at least on my machine at three inches per minute we won't be able to see it on the uh, diagnostic input but it does work okay save start up CNC 12 lathe here okay software exited cycle e-stop so I'm gonna press the reset in this case clear it I'm gonna go to alt D which puts us in uh, machine, machine position and now I'm gonna go ahead and reset home it's hunting it found it found it there we go do it again there we go 
All right. Hope that helps you guys. Oh, by the way, uh, it's uh, M105 and M106, depending on which direction you need the machine to go. All right, talk to you on the next one, guys.